Hello everyone, in this video, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. Stay tuned, stay connected, and be blessed by this video production. Prepare to receive powerful prophetic declarations in this month of March. And God bless you. The Bible says, ye have not because ye ask not. It says, hitherto you have not asked for anything. It says, ask and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. I want you to open your mouth and unashamedly ask God. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Lord, search this area of my life that I will have the liberty to serve you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Your marriage, your finances, your children, your basic needs, your family, cry unto the God of heaven. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Shabras katabela katoska prande kebaru sesieta ekra teka tebe katoska tebe lakosh rest round about in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. A businessman is praying in the name of Jesus. A career person is praying. Someone is need who is in need for employment of employment is praying. A man of God is praying. A prophet in the making, an apostle in the making. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let the maker of men make your life, sort your life, bring you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your needs are met, I assure you that you will have the time to serve His Majesty. A lifetime is too long to have your needs met. A lifetime was designed to serve the King, not serve things, not look for things. Looking for things for the rest of your life is an erroneous use of destiny. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Hallelujah. What you are about to receive is the engracing that now makes the things that you have learned it says now that ye know these things if all i do is to leave you at the point of just discussions and knowledge then i did not do you much for every time god speaks there is an engracing the assignment of that grace is to rest upon you and to cause the things that you have heard to give you the impetus the propelling force to move in obedience and to partner with your obedience to make manifest the things that you have believed that is the assignment of the anointing the assignment of the grace of God that follows his word is to back to propel you number one to obey and then in obeying to partner with your obedience now to make manifest the things that you have believed you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh is Yahweh, covenant keeping God. Yahweh, covenant keeping God. You are, you are. Listen, as I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. 
I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life, I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry. In his presence, there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare. I call upon the God who helps men, the one who helps men to rise, the one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God. Your passion for the things of the Spirit. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Now hear me. I want you to receive this prayer. I want to pray for you. There are many of you, I'm saying it prophetically. Between now and December, you will stand here to dedicate your own home. I say it by the God who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ. And for some of you, as it is now, you may not even have work to do. But you see, God is ever willing to make his power manifest. I say it again, by his favor, may God start sorting your personal needs. Please hear me. For some of you, while I described the human body, I perhaps call systems that are physically failing in your own body. While it was an analogy to explain the kingdom systems for victory, for some of you, you were just wondering and saying, Apostle is just calling this thing. Anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life, I command it must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your systems, out of your organs, now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your finances. If you don't need it, you can receive it for someone else. But I want to pray over your finances. There is an advantage we have in addition to our value, our wisdom, relationships. There is the grace of God that engenders favor. You find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. I like how the Bible puts it. It says, and God is able to make all grace, not some grace, all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion never disappointing in all things it says may abound to every good work i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god for someone here regardless the financial mountains that stand before you i call upon my god who is also your god let things begin to change supernaturally open financial doors 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 in the name of jesus christ it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i decree and declare whatever makes resources to go out of your hands whether it's the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation whatever be the case i decree and declare the grace to retain resources receive it now are you ready for favor I will pray this one today, this week. I will continue to pray till you become a living expression of the favor of God. Let me pray it for you. What is in favor? Huh. 
Favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny. Favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship, seasons of all kinds of things. Most people have not understood the also passing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor. And I have told you the proof of favor is not money. Money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor. The proof of favor is when God connects you to the hearts of men. That you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs. I don't know who that person is, but I'm stretching my hands towards you. That grace, I lay my hands on my own head and I pray by the privilege of the election of grace, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. This grace called favor, let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you in the city, in the country. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That you become a living evidence of what God can do with men. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by this impartation of favor, I call forth whoever has been mandated by God to participate in your rising. Whether you know them or not, I declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may they show up in your life. May they show up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Final prayer, whatever has refused to move forward, you have moved it by your energy, you have moved it intellectually, you have outsourced men to move it, but it has refused to move. I stand by the, the, the advantage of the prophetic. I move you forward. I move you forward. Make constructive progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh, 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 oh rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me, the Holy Ghost power, rest on me, let your grace, this grace called favor, rest on me, rest on me, let your grace, this grace called favor, rest on me, rest on me, oh, oh, oh. Let your, your power, the power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Oh. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Father, we give you praise because you are the deliverer, the one who sets us free, 
there are wicked spirits that have sat on people's lives and destinies masquerading as problems but in the name of Jesus I declare and decree by this anointing of the Spirit of God at the count of three you're going to shout that name that is above all names the name that has been exalted above thrones and dominions and every name that is named not only in this world but even that which is to come and as you shout that name the fire of the Holy Spirit will begin to rest upon people and bring deliverances for them of all sorts in the name of Jesus I decree and declare at the count of three every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies masquerading as physical problems you must go right now are you ready one two three shout Jesus shout Jesus let them go release their destinies 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 right now outside inside everywhere I decree and declare release their destinies by the power of the Holy Ghost please bring them out very quickly release their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ I tell you fire is falling in this place in the name of Jesus I decree and declare we are still praying every family that is under demonic siege kept in one place no movement no progress right now the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout Jesus again Lord every family under attack we bring the spirits behind it under arrest at the count of three one two three shout Jesus release the families now release the families now release the families now release the destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ open your mouth and begin to declare your release open your mouth and begin to declare by the blood of the eternal covenant I declare liberty for my life liberty for my family liberty 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 hallelujah hallelujah i'm still praying the lord is speaking to me and he's saying remove the mark of disfavor there are many physically there is nothing wrong with you but in the realm of the spirit there is a mark of disfavor around you that even when you go where you should be blessed it looks like you are despised i don't know who i'm praying for but fire is coming on someone now in the name of every mark of disfavor at the count of three that mark must let you go now one two three let it go let it go let it go be removed from your life be removed from your destiny be removed from your life be removed from your destiny in the mighty name of jesus carry out this favor marital disfavor financial disfavor be removed from your life hallelujah you see let me tell you the truth look up please this favor is a very terrible thing when a man does not carry the favor of God in his life you are not going to be able to make progress the number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God favor with God and favor with men I still want to pray that prayer don't be tired because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives there are many people it should not be so no 
your life can be indefinitely tied down nobody thinking about you to help you nobody calling for your help i say it again what is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the holy ghost i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your destiny right now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. 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 It's a miracle service. Whatever is making people reject you, I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed from your life. Rejecting you in office, rejecting you everywhere. In the name of Jesus, be free from it right now. Hallelujah. Now hear me please, pay attention. I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead seeing them in your dreams can I tell you in most cases all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing it doesn't mean every dead face of course there are spirits of just men made perfect but it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death let me pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege you have been having dreams of dead people calling you you have no business listen the living and the dead have nothing in common i pray for you by the fire that is of the holy ghost oh death oh death oh death oh death, oh death. Oh death. release the families now release god's people now oh grave take your hands away from their destinies take your hands away from their families take your hands away you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die in the name of jesus christ declare by the power of the holy spirit the spirits that oppress you i command them to leave you now I command them to leave you now I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus there is a family here God is bringing deliverance particularly to the ladies there is a spirit that never allow the ladies i'm seeing the ladies to move forward even when they settle down they must return back to their husband's homes i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus the lord is telling me the ladies it is like the the the, the female part of the family i command that spirit because you came here tonight i don't care how long that covenant has stayed it is hereby broken now broken now broken now Please help them at the back. Broken now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. Release them now. And then the spirit that makes women the men in a, in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it when it has to do with responsibility and provision 
the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there i decree and declare that demonic anomaly we exchange it back to its proper place we exchange it back to its proper place hear me hear me any man here that is not able to cater for your family by the anointing of the spirit i empower your hand to be productive i empower your hand to be productive the honor and the dignity that comes with being a man let it speak in your life and i pray for every woman here that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order in the name of Jesus for your sake may God empower your husband for your sake may God empower the men in your life <laughs> hallelujah I'm about to pray for the sick but I'm seeing someone what we call skin disease. You have some serious, I don't know what it is that is affecting your skin, quite an embarrassing condition. The Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to be praying for the sick right now. I believe in the healing ministry. In the name of Jesus, look at me. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit where those who have gone ahead of you, where they could not reach, in the name of Jesus, I place an anointing upon you. You will get there and surpass it by the Spirit. You will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. I say it again, you will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, listen, provided you are under this grace, you must rise. In the name of Jesus Christ, by all means, you must rise. Let's pray for the sick. diseases I want to start my prayer by praying for those with hepatitis listen there is a reason why sometimes God puts these names it's not just a story to mention and make it look serious I, I honestly have not studied the consequences of hepatitis I don't know what it really does I just know it's not a good thing and that is more than enough to cast it out of anybody who has it. Listen, place your hand where you are trusting God for healing. Those of you who came with sick people, now is the time to reach out to them. And those who are connecting for the sick or you are sick yourself, I'm about to pray for you. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I tell you, there is such a strong healing anointing why do we pray for the sick i have taught you that sickness is a portion of death being ministered to you because there is a threshold level of health your body must have for your spirit to remain in it and if your body becomes deteriorated beyond that threshold point your spirit will be forced to live in what you call death now it is not the living of the spirit that is a problem but when you are done with your assignment and it lives with honor and nobility, that is fine. We call it a good old age. But where the devil wants to bring it as a strategy to end your life, because you see, if you do not have a functional body, your spirit has no legitimate ground to remain in the earth. For you to be able to dwell in the earth legitimately, you must be a spirit and you must have a healthy functional body. So every time the Lord ministers to the sick, it is his determination to keep you in health and to promote longevity in your life. Don't tolerate any sickness in your body. We thank God for all our doctors, our medical team. We have a brilliant medical team that is, is doing well, you know. And I have taught you again that doctors and medical people are not anti-faith. We have taught for many years that you either choose doctors or choose the power of God. No, no. Even Jesus is called the great physician, not only the great healer, the great physician. So I'm going to pray for you now. When I pray for you, here's your own part of the, your own part of the faith equation. 
you believe and you receive by faith then when i tell you to you check yourself you do what you couldn't do so let your hearts be open do not allow yourself to return back with terminal diseases demonic illnesses you hear the story of the mama that was brought here just her eyes began to swell and all kinds of satanic things lay your hands and let's trust god for healing jesus the healer it is true that he heals i know you are here healing in your glory i know you are here precious holy spirit i know you are here you are here to take us higher i know you are here precious holy spirit father in the name of jesus you gave us the ability to pray for the sick and you said that as we minister to them they will recover there are many people right now who have all kinds of terminal diseases demonic conditions in the name of jesus the one who sent us i declare that every spirit of infirmity that is behind any health condition right now let that spirit be gone forever mm. right now let that spirit be gone forever let that spirit be gone forever I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now every sick body from the crown of your head down to the ah my god as I just said from the crown of your head I just felt a surge of power just a strong healing anointing going through someone's body bringing cleansing 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 of every demonic thing right now be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name hepatitis in the name of jesus be healed of it now hiv be healed now cancer be healed now I'm hearing in my spirit hormonal imbalance I don't know who has that condition but the power of God is touching you right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus hormonal imbalance be healed now deaf ears whether total deafness or partial deafness be opened in the name of Jesus blind eyes be opened now in the name of Jesus anybody here who could not walk you came and you could not walk using an aid in the name of Jesus I empower your limbs begin to walk now in the mighty name of Jesus kidney problems I'm hearing in the spirit help them kidney problems be healed right now there's someone you had something that looked like a lymph node around your your lower abdominal area and it refused to go in the name of Jesus I command that growth let it disappear now I'm seeing in a vision somebody's tongue I don't know if it's that the tongue is cracked this is what I'm seeing it's like the tongue is you know how it's like you're shredding something I don't know what condition that is but in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing right now severe bleeding it comes to an end now I'm hearing cancer of the rectum I'm not a doctor whether you are here or following online cancer is like cancer of the rectum this is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus 
I use this and any other variation of cancer. We command those cancer cells in the body of any of his victim to begin to die now. <laughs> to begin to die now. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's someone you have a boil inside your armpit, not around, inside your armpit an uncomfortable boil i don't know if you've taken any medical steps but the lord is telling me he's bringing you healing right now he's bringing you healing right now i'm hearing a word in my spirit clogged arteries clogged arteries in the name of jesus christ i'm going to meet the doctors one time to teach me all these things so that when i'm saying it i understand what i'm saying clogged arteries I, but i believe that that it's a very whatever clogs any part of your body for whatever reason is already sentencing you to death you know that one in the name of jesus i command clogged arteries be open now in fact god is showing me someone um your heart your heart is not fully functional it's affecting your breathing I don't know what that condition is now but it's a serious some sort of cardiovascular condition i stretch my hands now every part that has been blocked or clogged i command it to be open now i command it to be open now hallelujah i'm hearing something very interesting the lord is telling me i don't know why he's not telling me the nation but he's saying we should pray for a particular african nation so that there would not be a resurgence of covid a particular african nation in the name of jesus i know we are praying for the sick but since the word has come we pray particularly for the nations of africa we already drove that demonic spirit out of this continent we close the doors of the continent again in the name of jesus there will not be a resurgence of any any news of covid in africa again in the name of jesus gastritis the lord is healing someone of gastritis by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there's someone i'm seeing you are bleeding severely from your nose and your mouth severely from your nose i'm just looking at a vision i'm seeing blood just coming out in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but i curse that spirit right now in jesus name I once prayed over this condition that God is showing me and I'm seeing that God is showing me again somebody you it's like you regurgitate food when you eat you literally regurgitate it out again to eat it I don't know who that person is Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Allah shabra sadi salatia. Hallelujah. Satan, in the name of Jesus, if it was not so in the beginning then we decree and declare i don't know what the medical condition is where people regurgitate food out again but i know that it is a wicked demonic and uncomfortable condition i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i declare be healed now i release the power of the holy spirit now 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 be healed now that condition stops now i set you free let there be a correction in the name of jesus christ 
let there be a correction in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a correction in the name of Jesus let there be a correction in the name of Jesus someone the nails the nails on your feet are rottening I'm sorry to use that expression but it's already squeezing like a, what they call it now is it an athlete's feet or something like that the nails the nails on your feet are beginning to rot in I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now <laughs> and the Lord is also asking me to pray for someone because with what I see your teeth your entire you know your teeth is getting weak weak and weak and is something that is eating up your gums or something affecting you in fact you are suffering from very intense like a um, mouth odor it's not like you're a careless person but this is a serious dental problem and you need help you need the power of god i decree and declare over you'll be healed right now <laughs> now whether i mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who died and rose again for you and for those who you are lifting up in prayer that also includes those who are following from hospitals you can't believe how many hospitals in this nation and across the world air these miracle services over their patients as a commitment there are people right now on sick beds you know whose family members are just connecting by faith in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now lump in the right breast I command it to disappear now for someone I don't know what surgery you had on your legs but it's like something went wrong this is what I'm seeing I'm declaring that whatever went wrong with that surgery, let it be corrected right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Shout it with faith. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural restoration. Of time. And of things over my life right now open your mouth and begin to pray supernatural restoration of time supernatural restoration of things is someone praying those for testimonies begin to march forward supernatural restoration of time of things supernatural restoration someone is praying this prayer will work wonders in the life of many people restoration oh, your lifting has come oh, oh, oh. your lifting has come oh, oh. in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray are you ready for the second prayer point say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost every word assigned to announce me everyone assigned to help me everyone assigned to help me find visibility I command their ministries now open your mouth and pray it takes men used by God to help men rise someone is praying 
everyone assigned by the spirit of the living God for my rising for my visibility Assigned for my rising. If you are Joseph, pray over Pharaoh that Pharaoh will be used by God for your rising. If you are Daniel, pray for Nebuchadnezzar to be used by God for your rising. Is someone praying? Where are the helpers? Joseph's of Arimathea. Simeon's of Cyrene. The Naomi's. In the name of Jesus. 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 He said, tell the people that they go forward. I taught you last week that progress is not just moving around. Your last step or your next step must be ahead of your last step for it to be called progress. If your next step is equal to your last step, that is not progress. There is motion, there is movement, but it is not progress. Hallelujah. Someone is going to prophesy that the step you take next must be higher than the one you are taking now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Every step I take will be a step higher than the previous one. Spiritually, financially, and in every other aspect of my life, open your mouth and pray. No marking time. No marking time. No marking time. Constructive advancement. Progress by the spirit and in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.